Does Fagioli face a 25,000 euros fine and multi-year suspension for gambling violations that permanently damage his budding career? Will rising star Fagioli's career go down in flames? Welcome back to Pitch Talk. Let's get right into it. The Italian Football Federation, FIGC, has been rocked by allegations that rising star Nicolo Fagioli bet on matches through illegal gambling platforms. The 22-year-old Juventus midfielder is now under investigation and could face a lengthy ban if found guilty. The scandal broke last week when Turin prosecutors revealed that Fagioli was one of several dozen people suspected of using offshore sites for sports betting. While gambling itself is not illegal in Italy, professional athletes are prohibited from betting on matches in competitions they participate in. Investigators are still gathering evidence, but if Fagioli is charged and then convicted of violating FIGC's betting regulations, he could be slapped with a fine of 25,000 euros or more and banned from playing for up to three years. The allegations will come as a huge blow to both Juventus and the national team. Fagioli is considered one of Italy's most promising young talents and made his international debut last year. There were hopes he could cement his place in the Azzurri squad leading up to Euro 2024, but his budding career is now under a dark cloud. The FIGC prosecutor has opened a case file and will decide by the end of November whether there is sufficient evidence to charge Fagioli with a breach of Article 24 of the Sports Justice Code. While the Turin prosecutors primarily focus on the legality of the betting platforms, the FIGC's main concern is safeguarding the integrity of Italian football. If Fagioli bet on matches he was involved in, it raises troubling questions about match fixing. So far, he has not been formally suspended pending the outcome of the case, but Juventus will likely have to plan for the new season without him if a lengthy ban is imposed. Rumors about Fagioli's alleged gambling addiction first surfaced in July when celebrity gossip columnist Fabrizio Corona wrote that an unnamed Juventus player had lost significant amounts of money through sports betting. Corona didn't reveal the player's identity, but said his sources described him as a rising talent in his early 20s who plays in midfield. This matched Fagioli's profile, sparking speculation that he was the player in question. Prosecutors have not indicated if Corona's claims had anything to do with the probe that identified Fagioli months later. But the columnist's apparent inside knowledge has given more credence to the charges against the young midfielder. Assuming the investigation confirms wrongdoing on Fagioli's part, his absence would leave a big void in Juve's midfield. Last season, he went on loan to newly promoted Cremonese, where he excelled. He was slated to play a bigger role for the Bianconeri this term after returning from loan. With Paul Pogba injured and several other midfielders underperforming, manager Massimiliano Allegri was counting on Fagioli's creative passing and ball control to bolster the midfield. At the international level, Fagioli earned his first Italy call-up under manager Roberto Mancini last November, but has not been capped since. He was still seen as being in contention for the Euro 2024 squad, but his World Cup dreams this year are already over, with Italy having failed to qualify, and a potential multi-year ban would also rule him out of the next Euro tournament in Germany. It's a spectacular fall from grace for a player who until recently looked set to become a vital cog for both club and country. Some thought Fagioli had the potential to be the next great Italian midfielder in the mold of Andrea Perlo, but he now faces a deeply uncertain future and a long road to rebuild his reputation even if he avoids a ban. The Fagioli betting controversy has brought back memories of the infamous Calciopoli match-fixing scandal that rocked Italian football in the mid-2000s. Several major clubs were implicated back then, including Juventus who were stripped of two league titles and relegated. Since then, Italian football regulators have sought to repair the sport's tarnished image. Aware of the potential consequences, Fagioli has hired two of Italy's shrewdest sports law experts to handle his defense. The first is Maria Turco, who represented Juventus during the Calciopoli scandal. She is known for her in-depth knowledge of FIGC regulations and exploiting technicalities. The second lawyer is Pierfilippo Capello whose previous clients include former Juventusicons Gianluigi Buffon and Leonardo Benucci. They were both accused, but eventually cleared over allegations they scalped match tickets to ultra groups. The legal duo will poke holes in the prosecutor's case and look for mitigating circumstances that could reduce any potential ban. There are rumors Fagioli is claiming he only placed small bets for recreational purposes and was unaware of the platform's illegal status. 
but prosecutors are working methodically to verify the nature and scale of his betting activity. Without hard evidence, it will be difficult for FIGC to enforce the maximum three-year ban reserved for serious violations. Fagioli may be ultimately hit with a lesser one-year suspension as a first-time offender. While that would still be a huge blow, it would allow him to resume his career before too long. Much depends on what the probe uncovers in terms of how extensively Fagioli was involved with illegal gambling. But with his high-powered lawyers, he can be expected to mount an aggressive counterattack to avoid the worst-case scenarios. Across Italian football, though, there is widespread frustration and even disgust. The president of the Italian Players Association, Damiano Tomasi, expressed dismay at the damage caused by gambling scandals. He said, betting linked to matches is a plague. We must make every effort to protect football's credibility. Those who compromise that through illegal activities must be punished severely. The sentiment was echoed by legendary 2006 World Cup winning captain Fabio Cannavaro. In a social media post, he wrote, If the charges are true, I am speechless. Fagioli has the chance to be a leader for Italian football. He cannot gamble that away for foolish bets. As Italy's biggest football club, Juventus is no stranger to controversy and scandal, but attacks on their credibility upset fans who expect better. The team faces a challenge to regain trust. Juve president Andrea Agnelli addressed the betting investigation saying, We take ethics very seriously. If rules are broken, we will take appropriate action. But we must allow due process before concluding guilt or assigning blame. Manager Massimiliano Allegri also spoke about the need for integrity in football. He said the team is cooperating fully with authorities to uncover the truth. Allegri believes in giving young players good guidance to avoid risky behaviors. For Fagioli, clearing his name will be tough unless he can provide strong counter evidence, regardless of the legal outcome. Rebuilding his marketability after such damaging allegations may be impossible. Sponsorship deals have already dried up amid brand's reluctance to associate with controversies. His pristine rising star image is irrevocably tarnished. While fans often forgive when top players get caught up in scandals, Fagioli does not yet have enough goodwill as a newcomer. There are calls by some for Juventus to terminate his contract immediately to send a strong message, but others feel cutting ties would unfairly make him a scapegoat before complete facts emerge. Unless the probe definitively proves willful violations, Juve may prefer to keep the talented young midfielder. Much depends on the level of evidence confirming Fagioli's direct role and the scale of his betting activities. The next few weeks will be crucial as prosecutors move from investigation to formal charges. For Italian football, the case is another black eye following past scandals. But there is resolve to better police its ranks and demonstrate progress. Strict punishment combined with preventive education is seen as the dual solution. Can Italian football repair its image after this latest scandal, or will doubts of corruption linger? Does juvenile indiscretion deserve career-ending punishment, or should fines and short bans teach lessons? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Pitch Talk, and stay up to date on all the latest football news and insights.